Jack from VAT McFarland and today we're going to talk about the K008-5 from Kubota. So let's get into it. So we finally have our hands on the new series of K008 models from Kubota. This is the K008-5, so it's the upgraded version of the Dash 3 that we've had for many, many years. So today we're going to go into detail what exactly the K008 is, what it excels at, and what kinds of things you can expect from it. And we're going to go over the list of new features from the Dash 5 model. When most people look at this excavator for the first time, they think it's an extremely cute excavator. Obviously, it's not going to move mountains. It's not going to be like the KX057 behind it, where you're going to do some serious excavating jobs. But it definitely does have its uses and its applications. More often than not, we see these get sold to rental yards. And they're extremely popular choices for them because of how small they are and how easy they are to rent. Almost anybody can pick up this excavator. And within an hour or so, they can pretty well be pros at any kind of backyard task they have to do and it's light enough to actually fit on any kind of landscaping trailer it only weighs about 2300 pounds so you don't need some fancy tilt deck uh, dual axle tra trailer pretty much any landscaping trailer or dump trailer will be able to tow this and you can tow it with almost any vehicle so you don't need to deliver this to your customer's house they can pick it up with even their suv or a small pickup truck will have no problem towing this we also see this in a lot of demolition applications as well interior demolitions and backyard demolitions that are in tighter areas so the tracks on this they are the narrowest tracks that kubota sells so in the narrowest configuration they're two foot four Four inches and you can expand the track out to two foot ten inches so you can actually put this excavator through a standard size man door that's about 30 inches wide the roll bar also folds down to five feet 11 inches so you can fold it down bring in the tracks and fit right through any man door Next, we're gonna talk about the digging capacities on this. So it's very similar to the backhoe you'd find on the back of a BX23S. The digging depth is about five feet, eight inches. So just under six feet. The 12 inch bucket right here is the standard bucket. So this makes it an, an extremely attractive choice for someone who does a lot of electrical work. If you only have to dig electrical trenches in backyards, say only 10 to 20 feet long, and they only have to be about four feet deep, then this is an extremely cost-effective choice to go with. And the bucket is only 12 inches wide, so you're not taking massive amounts of dirt out of the ground and then having to go back and backfill it. Speaking of backfilling, it does have a front blade on it, so it does have the adjustable width as well, just like the tracks. So right there, it's two foot, four inches, and then you can flip the, the blade out in order to get it out to two feet, 10 inches wide. With the Dash 5 model, Kubota released a quick attach coupler. It's not installed on the bucket right now, but it's gonna make it extremely easy to switch between a digging bucket like this one here and a trenching bucket. So if you opt for the additional cost of getting that quick attach coupler, it's gonna be very similar to the normal wedge style ones we have from Kubota. So if you're gonna be using this for any kind of interlocking jobs and you need a tooth bucket in order to dig down a little bit and get your base all good, and then you can switch over to a larger flat bucket, say a 24 inch flat bucket you're able to smooth out your grade after that with this excavator being a k008 it fits inside of kubota's k series and if you remember from my other videos the k series does have tail swing as you can clearly see the rear end of the machine hangs over the side about six inches in the widest track configuration but this does have a huge advantage over the u series comparing this to the u10 it does have a smaller track dimension so the physical machine is smaller and narrower even at the narrowest configuration it's about two to three inches narrower than the u10 so if you're looking for kubota's smallest form factor excavator and you don't really mind the tail swing when you swing around on a job site then this might be the machine for you next talking about the operators platform so it's very similar to the k008-3 the controls are right in front of you here so you have your boom controls and your bucket controls and then you have your track controls right here so they're all super easily accessible over here on your right hand foot that's going to be your swing boom so you're able to swing the boom of the machine left and right to get a little bit closer to objects that you're digging against without actually putting the machine closer to it over here there's a couple different foot pedals as well this one right here that's going to be your two speed travel so if you're moving from point a to point b and you want to move a little bit quicker i think it's only about two and a half miles an hour but you can press this in and you will get a little bit more movement speed 
This also does have a setup for auxiliary ports out the front of the machine. So if you want to run this with a breaker or a small auger, you can. And right there, that foot pedal, that's going to be the ability to turn on that auxiliary. Over here as well, you do have your blade control. So you're able to raise and lower the blade. And on that same function, if you flip a lever down there, that actually adjusts the width of the track. So we'll go into that in detail in a bit. And then over here, the levers on the left-hand side, that's going to be your throttle control to raise and lower the RPM. And then that's going to be your lockout. So that's another new feature on the Dash 5 model is on the Dash 3 model, you're able to start the machine while the controls were live. On the Dash 5, you do have to lock out the controls in order to start the machine, much like every other Kubota excavator. So now we're going to go over the, the track change on the K008. The first step you're going to do is spin the machine completely around. And then you're going to straighten out the bucket. So you're going to put the bucket into the ground to pick up the front end a little bit. And then you're going to drop the blade. Do the same thing on the back and then you're going to flip the lever in between your legs over to the right so now your blade control is now going to be become your track control so you can see there your tracks go in and out nice and easy just like that and then to wind them just the same way and then you just flip it back over and then you can lower yourself down With just a flip of the lever, you can open up the hood of the K008. As you can see, it's an incredibly small Kubota engine. It has about 10 horsepower. That's all it needs to power this machine. All the filters and oil ports and test ports, they're all extremely easily accessible right here on the machine. So in terms of maintenance, it's gonna be extremely simple. There's no DPF filter on this, obviously. So just regular oil changes and regular greasing. It's pretty much all it takes to maintain a K008. Now we're going to talk about some of the brand new Dash 5 features. The easiest one to spot when you're looking at the K008 is the brand new paint job. It's completely two-toned around the back, so it does have a nice black paint job. Much like the KX057-5, it's a very, very similar paint job to that. Another notable change that you're really not going to notice just from looking at the excavator is that they increased the weight of it. They increased the weight from the Dash 3 by about 250 pounds. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it's about a 10% increase on this machine so it gives it a little bit more stability a little bit more lift capacities and performance of the excavator itself another nice touch is that they added an LED light right here it used to be a halogen light but they did opt to upgrade that for a full LED light Lastly, we have to talk about the price and availability on this machine. So just as you see it here, this machine runs about $30,000 Canadian. You do have the option to finance it at 0% for 48 months, much like a lot of other Kubota construction equipment. And then availability, again, like all other Kubota construction equipment, it's extremely hard to come by. So if you want to put your name on one for next spring, next early summer, I'd recommend going into your dealership, talking with them and putting your name on one as soon as possible to secure one for next year. And that pretty much wraps up today's videos. If you guys have any comments, leave them down below. And if you're liking the videos, remember to like and subscribe. Need help with parts, sales, or service? Give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.